Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you exactly how to use templates in Figma. Whether you're a design pro or brand new to Figma, by the end of this tutorial, you'll know how to quickly find and adapt templates, saving you hours of work and helping you jumpstart your next project with ease. Let's dive right in. So when you first open up Figma, you'll land on the dashboard. This is basically your home base where all your projects and design resources are organized. Now over on the left side, you'll notice a panel with various options. What I want you to look out for is the section called Templates and Tools. Go ahead and give that a click. It might take a second for the full list to load, but don't worry, that's completely normal. Once you've clicked on Templates and Tools, Figma is going to open up a whole world of ready-made templates for you. And I really mean a whole world here, from eye-catching icons and bold logos, all the way to complete website layouts and app designs. Instead of starting with a blank canvas and feeling that overwhelming where do I begin moment, templates basically give you a strong starting point. So think of this as browsing through a creative menu. You get to pick what looks best for your needs. Take your time here. Scroll through and see what catches your eye. Maybe you're working on a fun branding project and need a new logo, or perhaps you want to speed up website development without reinventing the wheel. There are templates for pretty much anything you can imagine. If you already have something in mind, say a mobile app UI, just scan the list for that category. Figma has made it very visual, so you'll often see previews right away. Don't be afraid to check out a few options. You can always come back and look for more if you're still deciding. When you spot a template that fits what you're looking for, all you have to do is click on it. Give it a second to open, again, especially if it's a larger design like a full site template, it might need a moment to load up. And just like that, you'll see the entire design right in your workspace. Here where the real magic happens. You can use the template as it is and just grab the parts you need. Maybe there's an icon or a color palette that's perfect for your project. Or if you want to make it your own, you can start customizing everything. Change the colors, swap out images, update text, or even move things around. Figma is super flexible, kind of like playing with digital building blocks. And don't worry at all about making mistakes. The version history and undo features mean you can always go back if something doesn't look quite right. And that's honestly it. Using templates in Figma is really that simple, but it's also incredibly powerful. Instead of spending hours building from scratch, you're able to focus your attention on creativity, customizing, refining, and bringing your unique vision to life. If you found this walkthrough helpful, please give the video a thumbs up. It really helps out our channel. If you have any questions about templates in Figma, just drop them down in the comments below. I love chatting with you guys and helping you problem solve. And if you want more tips and tutorials like this, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Thanks for watching and happy designing.